There's the first one. Looks like a snowboard. I had to take it to Wave Rave up in Mammoth to grind the base because I didn't have that machine quite yet. My name is Derek Rasmussen. I'm a woodworker and snowboard builder here in Ventura, California. Shop is down here on the avenue and it's familiar to me. I love how the beach is a mile and a half away and there's mountains 12 miles that way. And on the industrial level, anything you need industrially is here. I love making furniture, but you can't ride furniture down the mountain. So <laughs> there's something that, that you, you make a piece of furniture for someone and it's sitting in their house and they enjoy it every day, which is awesome. But making a snowboard or a piece of equipment that someone's gonna take out into nature and enjoy nature is like truly special. 2014 were all the Japanese boards and which you couldn't even get them in America. They were expensive, you had to have them imported. So that was kind of, that inspired my first one. There's like uh, ski and snowboard builder forums and chat rooms. So I kind of moonlighted on there. I spent so much time learning how to make boards way before, years I spent on that, that site trying to figure out all the, like, the nuts and bolts of the process before I actually made one. So I feel like by the time I made that first one, in my mind, I had already made 500. This is called a tree weasel. And this is the very first one I made. But now they look like this. This one was probably 2015. And then this I made in 2020. It's cool to make your own cores because you can kind of really control the weight. You can control the stiffness, how damp it feels. You can kind of change a lot from just the type of woods you use and how you put them in the core. I've made a bunch with wood veneers and I'm, as time goes on, I'm just moving more and more towards that just because less plastic in the board and you can refinish it, which is nice. And kind of like a surfboard that you've had for a long time that you love, if it gets a ding on it, you just like, you, you feel it and you keep going. And that kind of what, what gives it its magic, you know, to have this old board that you've been kind of lugging around with you and just fixing and that first ding kills you, but the 16 after just kind of add, kind of show you what the board's been through. It really is magic. Making your own boards and riding them is like, God, it's an incredible feeling. I've definitely made snowboards where I'm like, ooh, this one came out real nice. Wish I could keep it. I get inspiration from anybody that's super passionate about what they do. Anyone that's so passionate and in their, their little thing that maybe no one else on the planet likes, that's super inspiring to me. It's been a, a love affair, and my wife makes fun of me that I make, that I watch you when I'm not working. I'm watching YouTube videos about woodworking. You know, she'll hear table saws and all that, and that's that's how much I love it. I just like I just want to learn more and more and more. And,